just to let you know who our Posse artist is today, John Stringer is a life teacher, speaker, billboard charting, singer-songwriter, healer, and author with a passion for music, community, expansion, and limitless love and light. He has released music that has taken him around the world, sharing and performing, and in 13 different countries, and even on the top 10 billboard chart. Today, John leads retreats, workshops, speaks, and performs, supporting his limitless love and light and the Moments to Moments CDs, and his book, The Abundance Vibration, A Guide to Alignment. Please welcome John Stringer. Thank you so much, everyone. Grateful to be here today. I am honored and just, you know that feeling you have when your heart swells and love just keeps coming your way and you're just like, man, what, what makes you want to tear up? That's how I feel. I'm just very grateful. Thank you for all the love shown by everyone. So being here, our wonderful hosts, thank you so much. Uh, Mumi, thank you so much. <laughs> We've been uh, just really blessed. I mean, really blessed for all of you that came last night. Thank you. We had a great time. Um, I, I also am feeling grateful because I'm learning that lesson of integration uh, more and more, uh, more deeply, I'll say. And for those unfamiliar with what I mean by integration, um, on our spiritual journey as we align with the essence of who we are, we have this wonderful opportunity to expand our awareness. And we expand it into levels, levels of creation. Those levels include the one we're most familiar with, the level of form, the level of appearance of things, the physicality and the separation from this body and that body. Then we expand it to levels of meaning. We begin to notice the beliefs, the limiting thoughts, and we begin to search for more better feeling thoughts, uh, higher frequency thoughts, etc. We expand our awareness into levels of consciousness that contain this information and assist us in expanding it to higher, more powerful thoughts. And then we expand into even sensation, the level of sensation, what we feel in our bodies, what we're creating, where we're holding tension, begin to relax, begin to understand how to navigate the senses. Even the meditation we did today, exploring the senses more, we're expanding that awareness into those areas we also begin to expand into the level of creation that is vibration and frequency. This is a natural progression as we align, as we find those practices that allow us to center, allow us to expand that awareness and feel into all of these levels of creation. Now, where does integration come in? What does integration have to do with that process? Well, often what we find as we are aligning and expanding our awareness, we begin to access these, not only the blocks, not only the traumas, the creations of judgment, etc., that don't feel that good, that don't create a harmonious frequency and vibration. Not only do we begin to access those, but we begin to access higher consciousness that shows us how to choose differently when being amongst that energy. <coughs> so how many of us, for example, have experienced over the last couple of months this recurrence of patterns reemerging at a deeper level that you don't necessarily want to deal with, patterns that don't feel good in other words, maybe things you felt like you've already released and healed but suddenly they're coming back up and strong. Okay, so that would be an op one of those beautiful opportunities in the sign that you are on the journey <laughs> that I'm talking about. The wonderful thing is, on this spiritual journey, integration actually has to do with bringing higher consciousness to the lower frequencies. Bringing the higher consciousness to the separation or the appearance of separation. In other words, bringing higher consciousness into the actual form 
the appearance of separation does not necessarily mean the appearance of separation disappears. <laughs> it doesn't mean the creation just goes away and vanishes. And ding, everything that we judge and don't like is gone. <laughs> That's not what the journey typically when we're surrendering does, right? What happens, life is that beautiful all consciousness creating all creation and it's giving us the opportunity to bring into our awareness the places we are judging the creation. It's helping us see, oh, where am I deciding that the I am all consciousness God is has messed up? <laughs> where am I choosing that something is actually wrong with this picture? This thing called life, and I'm judging that it's not quite right and all is not well. So life is giving us that opportunity on this journey. And as we align, we begin to let go of those misperceptions, those judgments that all is not well, and we begin to integrate. Think of it like the 60s. <laughs> Remember the 60s? The 60s you had, in the U.S., you had the minorities and the race that decide that they had the privileges and the minorities didn't. There was this injection of separation that was prevalent that had been worked, the system had been worked for some while, and there was all this separation, and then people started saying, no, we want to be able to, no more of this separation where we have to drink from different water fountains and use different bathrooms. We want integration. No more separate. We want integration. What happened? What had to happen was the consciousness had to shift. We had to see, okay, we are judging this race of people as less than different and separate. In order to integrate, we must release that judgment and begin to accept and see as one and the same. Begin to integrate. Well, that's the same thing that's happening with life. It's giving us that opportunity, or not. <laughs> we get to choose whether to integrate with all that is created. But it is through our alignment where we bring in the higher levels of knowing and consciousness that allow us to shift. For if we are attempting to go through life's patterns in life's roller coaster ride, it is temporal by nature. Anyone who thinks they are supposed to stay here, stay in bliss that feels like happiness, joy, and non changing, are basically <coughs> mastering detachment from the creation. Nothing wrong with that. That is a path. However, if you haven't really mastered detachment from <laughs> the creation, then you must access a higher level of consciousness that allows you to ride what is volatile by nature and by design. For creation is changing from the level of vibration and frequency by design. If you ever look up vibration, it is called oscillation. Oscillation is called change by design. Frequency is the rate of oscillation, fast or slow. <laughs> but it is by nature change. How do we know that vibration and frequency is not the truth, not the essence? Because the essence, the truth of who we are is non-changing. It is the oneness that does not change. It is the oneness that is no thing. The essence, so our alignment with the essence is what allows us to expand our awareness and not be entangled in the change, thinking that the change is the real, but instead harmonizing, accepting the change as our creation and participating in the change the way that life is seeking to participate. Now that takes For many of us, practice. And mind you, uh, I get to be this morning the poster boy. 
<laughs> the poster boy that says, sometimes, and you relate, by poster boy I simply mean, I get to be the mouthpiece that gets to stand up here and say the things you know, talk about the things you're going through as well. Not that I am any different, but that we're one and the same. That we are on this journey, many of us learning, just as I am, how to accept the changes, how to accept our resistance to the changes, and how to align and access the higher knowing that tells us we can let go of the resistance and enjoy the changes. <laughs> because everything is for us, the very creation, the volatile nature of the creation, the apparent differences, the contrast, everything is for us. How do we truly embody that knowing? That's the integration. That is the alignment through a surrender to whatever that power is, whatever name or no name that we give it. Surrender to that knowing that is within us. And we are within it. Beckoning it through our surrender. Let's do an exercise. This is my favorite uh, modality or technology I was given when I begin to open up and the energy begin to move and just receive this technology, simple technology. Take a breath. Go ahead and relax. You can close your eyes if you like. Optional, but you're invited to as you relax and breathe. We'll do this more in depth later during the workshop today if you come, but I want you to experience it now in case you don't. Simply relaxing and breathing, and you're going to repeat mentally a simple code that your inner being knows exactly what it means, knows exactly what to do. You're simply going to engage your will as you breathe and relax and you mentally repeat the word align, 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 align. Allowing yourself to align with the essence of who you are. Align, 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 align. Take a deep breath. Mentally repeat aloud, 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 aloud. Allowing the source energy to flow and do what it knows to do. Allow, engaging your will, breathing and relaxing. Allow, 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 allow. Finally repeating mentally, let go, 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 let go. Take a breath. And now we will put them together, mentally repeating, align, allow, let go. Align, allow, let go. Align, allow, let go. Engaging your will, breathing and relaxing, and noticing any shifts as you relax, breathe. Align, allow, let go. Align, allow, let go. <coughs> Now, as you continue to mentally repeat, align, allow, let go, 
Notice what your body is feeling, breathing and relaxing. Some of you may have noticed the expansion. Some of you may have dropped further into the level of sensation, vibration and frequency. Some of you may notice the source energy moving and shifting. Some of you may be using multiple modalities of thinking to receive the energy and the consciousness coming through. Whatever you're experiencing, I simply request for the continuation of this experience, you bring your attention back to breathing, relaxing, as you remind yourself to align with the source of who you are, to allow the source energy to do exactly what it knows to do and to let go of any resistance, any blocks that are no longer serving you so that you might feel the dynamic bliss that is always here, the dynamic intelligence and love that is always here from moment to moment. Take a deep breath. You can open your eyes. As you continue to align, allow, let go internally, we'll continue. And the invitation is to remember finding practices that assist you in aligning from moment to moment so that you can express the innate love and light that you are and experience the power that is always here. Every moment being pregnant with that power. Every moment being pregnant with power to express through you in a harmonious way, no matter what arises. Now, let's talk about the challenges. <laughs> the challenges are when that emotion arises that does not feel good, when the thoughts and the patterns that emerge that don't feel good, when the family member acts a certain way that you have been resisting for most of your life <laughs> and you've been trying to get them to change. You've been trying to get them to do something differently. And that nuance that just rubs you the wrong way pops up and you're like, oh my goodness, what is this? Using that as a trigger, an opportunity to align. Not to necessarily change them. Not even to necessarily change you. But to change the way you are viewing it. To view it from a higher perspective. One of the things I've been fascinated by now is the depths of the emotion that come up on this journey um, when, when aligning and experiencing frustration and anger and bitterness and what feels like hatred, like these low, low vibrations. And the thoughts, the level of meaning that we create around those are usually the things we get entangled in when that emotion and that energy comes, but it's just energy. So if you think about the most frustrating thing that's happened to you in the last month, and you allow that to come as you align, that's the key. So you bring that to mind as you're aligning, align, allow, let go. What invariably happens, you begin to feel that emotion, that energy, and you're aware of the thoughts that typically play, the patterns around it, but you're not entangled in it. It's almost as if typically when you bring that thought to bear, the patterns of, of meaning that are associated with it that usually come are like blinders and you're entangled in them, and that's all you see through, and you believe that is you because it's painting your experience, it's covering the experience. So the quality of your experience looks exactly like these thoughts you have created around that energy. Alignment allows you to expand your awareness where you're not just looking at this, but you're expanding beyond that and you've centered and accessed the higher levels of consciousness that create the knowing that say, ah, okay, there's nothing wrong with what you're seeing here, but you have other possibilities other potentialities that you can bring through. 
And in fact, that knowing that begins to bring the source energy and unstick you from that skewed perspective so that you can notice in reality there is only perfection in this situation. Suddenly you begin to see the perfection, accessing it from a higher level of knowing, of spirit, of ruach, the breath, the essence. You begin to bring that knowing in, that knowing helps you see this creation that you've been misperceiving is actually God in action. It's actually the all, the oneness, the only thing that is in action. It's actually its creation. And you've just been misperceiving it with this meaning, investing your belief in this meaning. Therefore, it has created the quality of your experience. As you align, expanded the awareness, the energy comes in, new thoughts begin to come and assist you in seeing what the reality is about this situation. The energy doesn't necessarily go away, but you begin to feel into that energy and the depths of that energy that you're no longer mislabeling, misperceiving. You allow it to be expressed and integrate with it, harmonize with it. Yes, the low feelings of anger, hatred, and all that stuff, you're not labeling anymore. It's the same energy, but now you're flowing with it, you're integrating. So from the lowest frequency to the highest, no longer are you resistant to this down here. You're saying, okay, I'm going to bring it all together. I'm going to harmonize with it all. Whatever arises, I'm going to accept and allow because it is all for me. There is nothing that is not for me. How do we do that? In, in reality, life has always given us opportunities. <laughs> Think of anything this month. You have resisted, you didn't like, there's the opportunity. It's always bringing us the opportunities to see, okay, what are you choosing? You're always creating from that experience. Life is doing its thing. You're selecting the meaning, the pattern, sub subconsciously. As you align, you begin to be more aware of what are these patterns? Do these feel good or not? Oh, okay, that doesn't feel so good. Let me align, allow, let go. See what is for me. Then you can begin to inquire. Okay, if this is for me, and right now it does not feel good, and I am struggling, I have all these judgments about it. If it's truly for me, show me. As I align, allow, let go. What are you seeking to know in this moment? The I am consciousness. What are you seeking to experience and know as we end this moment? Help me see. And that knowing does the work. It's this to surrender to the higher knowing that we have all have access to. But finding the practices that work, it's so obvious, we know this, right? Finding the practices that work for us is just the real application of it <laughs> in everything we do. That becomes the <laughs> embodiment and realization of the divine, the true integration. So I'm grateful because I'm living it in ways to learn to love even the idiosyncrasies <laughs> in ways I've judged myself as not quite right. <laughs> The ways I've judged myself as all is not well. Ways I've judged myself as not the divine and believe that I am something other than God, other than oneness. Learning to let that go and embrace all I have created, but not do my own false identification power. In other words, as John, because I can't do it as John but as that which I align with the true essence, letting go of the false identification of who I am, knowing that I am the I am, and allowing that higher consciousness to do the work. That's when I see the embracing and the acceptance, and that's when I feel the gratitude and the love for all that we have created. So the invitation is to simply continue 
you are doing the work. You being here today is a testament that you are already doing the work. You are already remembering. And as you align, recognizing the beautiful opportunity with your consciousness all around you in these appearances of bodies, that by uniting and seeing the divine in one another, receiving and giving to one another through our practice, through our alignment, that we are able to usher in a new way of being, seeing, expressing, giving, receiving, that is experiencing the perfection that's already here. So the invitation is to continue.